and here we have today's patient a t-bone sc440 and this particular one is broken in its usb port that the previous owner so nicely just pulled out so we can get the light so we can see that the middle part has been pulled out then the entire usb interface needs to be changed now, I don't have the exact same part, but I have this thing. It's essentially the same. And let's start by taking this thing apart, which is really easy. This is really easy to disassemble. And in here we can see that we have ground uh, and data connections and the 5 volt connection in here. And they are essentially the same ones that we can see here, these. And we could look this stuff up in a data sheet, but there's no fun in that. And you can't always do that because sometimes you need to make repairs in places that you don't actually have access to the internet. So, for that we have the shitty multimeter. And we put it in continuity mode and we'll be able to see if there's continuity between two points. So, for example, we take the ground here and then we touch. And now that we've figured those things out, we are going to take this thing apart so that we can get to the actual, to this thing. And we can see that the previous owner has tried to take this thing apart because there's a screw missing. Now we need to pull the thing out, but I'm not sure that it's going to come out nicely. It seems that it is glued in place. This thing is completely broken already, it won't matter. And we can then see it with this. We don't want to hit it too hard to not break things. This is going to be one interesting rescue operation because I have a feeling that this stuff here is going to be, it's probably an epoxy and it probably covers the entire thing there, which means that more than likely the best course of action is actually to snip all of these and then put this down and hammer this thing out because I, I doubt that it's gonna come out there nicely 
this game to be to be some force. Well, that's certainly progress. And it would seem that I'm actually going to need a new part, or I'm going to need to take this particular thing and then take this out of this shell and then replace it into that thing. Because this one is straight. Now we'll go ahead and turn on the soldering iron and make some new cables. We're going to make the 5 volt cable out of this thing. And we'll go ahead and pre-solder the heads for easier applying and this is where the hemostats are quite nice you can hold them in position and they don't take too much space now that that's out of the way we can then solder them into place take this thing and we'll just solder these and since it's only sensible to use heat shrink in these kinds of applications so that these things don't touch each other, we're just going to use that. And I have some nice heat shrink that is actually the correct color. And when I solder the next ones, the heat shrink will actually start to shrink, saving me some extra trouble. The next one is the ground, which is below the VCC. Yes, and it turns out that I've done this wrong. These are on the wrong side. Let's do this again. Now we have plenty of glue inside. Try 
uh, while trying to minimize the amount of glue that gets. And now we'll just have to let it sit for an hour or two. So the top right one should be BCC. And thankfully putting it together is just a simple matter of screwing on, in this case, three screws because some screws have gone missing. Good as new. Okay, now with a new cable. See the internal microphone. USB cable, then this also works. So this has been fixed and I can now either use this or sell this. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.